So, if you're just joining us, we are talking about how to calculate the properties of matter, okay? First thing we're going to do is we, we looked at our equation, we know exactly what equations are going to be, and so now we want to find out how do we know exactly what the question is asking us to calculate. Let's say, for example, let's say, for example, um, let's say a bar of soap, a bar of soap has a mass of, let's say, um, hmm, let's say, um, 5G, as in grams, I can write that out for you, all right, and it has a volume, and it has a volume with a volume of, let's say, for example, um, 10 cubic centimeters, cubic centimeter. You always say the cube first, the like cubic centimeters, all right? That's what we use to denote volume. Now, how do we set up our equation? Okay, here's the trick. If you see this, whenever you see the word mass in a, in a, in a, in a question, you always go ahead and label it. I put my M right over there, because I know that I have that, okay? Then I see the word volume, great. I go ahead and put a V. So look, I know I have what? I have an M and I have V. So that means that the question would definitely be asking me what? Density. Good. So the question must be asking you what is or find 